Okay, we're back at Farmer Britain's Best Lawn 2016. This one is a bit newer than that. We did this one three years ago, if you remember. We removed the altar and we lined it underneath with uh, the fleece that we use for covering the seed after we've overseeded to help it through. So we recycled that, put it underneath in the hope that it would stop worm casts coming through. We get a few around the edge, just where they can get up alongside that fleece but in the middle we've had none whatsoever so it really did work that so what we're going to do today is we're going to be scalping scarifying overseeding top dressing wetting agent as normal and this one will be looking great in a few weeks all right so to scalp the lawn today like always i'm using the alex sterling i've set it on zero on the height setting and it's doing a great job of getting us down to the stubble Alright, so we'll just have a quick walk over. Question I get asked a lot is will it come back? Of course it will. We're going to seed alongside it so that'll come through along with the existing lawn, fill in any gaps, and we'll be rocking. So, next step, scarify. Alright, now on with scarifying, I've got yield faithful out. I've put the height setting on three today. I've just dropped it down a little bit just because the lawn is really short. We just need that extra depth into the soil. As you can see there, there's lots of soil showing. So the wheels are running true. So this means there's not much sinkage when we go over it. So we're relying on the wheels to adjust, to drop the scarifying blades down that little bit further. Then we're just going over with the scarifying attachment on the sterling, picking up all the scarifying that's all the thatch. So yeah, doing a double pass and I'll show you in a sec what we brought up. All right, so that's the scarifying done. Picked up with the scarifying attachment. We'll have a look at what we've just pulled out in a sec. Look at that, a bit of annual meadow grass, perfect. We'll just pull that out and be done with it. Do you notice how it just stood out like a solar thumb? Annual meadow grass, white base as well. Annual meadow grass. So we'll just put that in my bucket. Show you what we've pulled out. We've had uh, about three or four of these. So we'll put that in there. Look at what we've pulled out. A bit of obviously compost from last year's in there but all the beech flowers off the beech tree so i think what we're gonna have to do tomorrow is cover this over um because i just think if we don't the lawn's going to be covered in these flowers and that and it's going to impede the sea coming through so we'll get them on for a couple of weeks and i think we'll be in a better position for it so next step is to show you the bargain tool all right, so this is my bargain tool. Picked it up for just over 20 quid off eBay. Now, why have we got this? Just on these lawns where we get a lot of roller action, squidges it all together and just closes it off. So any seed we put on generally will just wash off. So this is a great tool. It's actually sold as a soil cultivator, not a seed source. I've kind of renamed it if you like. So this goes in and you just go like this. Obviously put it down with a bit more force and I'll show you over there in a sec, but that's in essence how it works. So this is revolutionized overseeding for me. So I'll show you how we use it. Okay, so I'll just push it down and we'll just go like this. Where we've got real squashed soil, we'll just do more action with it. But generally in the middle, we'll just do one pass. So it's just making a nice till for that seed to sit in. Then when we go with the compost, I'll just bed it in extra nice. So otherwise, if we didn't do this, what's happened in years gone by, is that it just washes off into the border and we end up with great lawn in the slate but not great lawn on here so i'll do the rest and then we'll crack on and there's a link in the description for this so you don't need to ask me in the comments just click on where it says more and all the products that i use and everything any discount codes are all in there so knock yourself out Welcome to Luxury Rat and Direct. Come and see our large range of quality garden furniture here in Bamber Bridge, Preston. Or buy direct from our website with prices to suit everyone's budget and sizes to suit everyone's garden. LuxuryRatandDirect.co.uk. Shopping for garden furniture has never been so easy. All right, it's a great tool, but it is hard work on your biceps. So if you buy it, 
be aware that you're going to have Popeye arms after you've finished. Okay, so it's just now time to do the seeding. I've just put the extreme in the hopper, set it to 32, and I'm just going over. So that's the seed on. Now we're just going over with the wetting agent. I've mixed three times the amount of water that I need so I can go over three times. I'll show you in a sec. Field compost on now. Remember, 10% off on fieldcompost.co.uk using the DHLE10 code. This is going to give our seed a nice cosy blanket. Black with the covers on, lots of water. It's going to give us great germination in no time at all. So I'm just putting that on, raking it over. And a little tip, don't get it wet before you put it on because it does just lump up a little bit, but it's easily broken up just with a little tap with the rake. I just left it around the side and it just had a little bit of rain got inside it. And then we cover that over now with the remaining wetting agent that we've got left over, saving enough for when we go on with the fleece, what we're doing now. So I got this off Garden Shop on eBay and I've just been using it at different jobs. It's been at the Wembley job for 12 months, but it's moved its location today here and now it's in the back of my van. So I just get some ground staples, which I picked up from Tool Station and put that in. It's a bit windy, so I needed some more. And then we just go over with the remaining wetting agent and that's it. And then we just go over some water, just give it a soak. This is the job from now on, plenty of water every day. And this job will be up in no time. All right, that's everything done. Scalp, scarify, wetting agent, overseed, top dress, wetting agent, covers, wetting agent, and then finally, some water. So that's just gonna need watering now. We'll leave these covers on for a couple of weeks. All the flowers and stuff are gonna fall off this beech tree. That's why I've done this. Remember I said, try and think if you need to do this don't just do it because i'm doing it actually ask yourself if you need to do it and this today here is a real kind of example of having to cover just because like i said earlier the flowers off that is just going to cover this and going to impede our seed from growing so we have to do it here right have a good weekend and we'll see you next time here on daniel hibbert lawn expert when we will be doing although you think it might not need it this side it's not anything other than what we did on good friday it's looking in great condition but as always we have to do a reset so we can get it looking good because hopefully later in the year i've got a nice surprise coming so I'll let you know about that later on uh next month but should be good and it will just be a kind of reward for my hard work uh in the past few years so i'm looking forward to that so i'll let you know when i know so yeah Let's go home, the weekend is here. Bolton, tomorrow, last chance saloon for Bolton. Home to Port Vale. If we win that and Derby lose and there's a five goal swing, we will be uh, in the front runner to go up in automatic. But Cambridge, any Cambridge fans out there, please do us a favor. So anyway, take care and we'll see you soon.